hello guys welcome back to a new darkness rises video in this video guys i'm gonna talk about maxing the new awakening level to 19 uh, how much time might take uh, how much power you can get uh, what attributes you should choose because you get more attributes points so see also how much i can gain right now and yeah and as you can see i started playing the game because okay at least i saw some um, something to look forward to with the roadmap that will get in february so mid uh, next update guys we'll get the roadmap for the entire year and they announced there will be something bigger than the awakening so that got me hopeful you know because awakening was quite quite good one of the best <coughs> updates and if there is something bigger than that hmm hopefully it's not just hype I'm curious what that could be. Like I said, I hope it be something like the next phase or awakening, maybe awakening year included also, uh, like customization, that I would prefer. Uh, if they bring uh, legendary costumes, I don't mind, as long as if they don't make it like pay to win or too hard to obtain or too much RNG involved into that. We will see, we will see guys, but definitely something that they said is big will come, plus new story and I'm sure they are working on that. They did say like uh, a while ago that they are working on the new story and I hope, I hope they will bring those updates soon because it's kind of boring right now and the events, another thing they said they, bring it, they are bring it, bringing back the chaos Chaos Abyss, I think it's called, yeah, the one with the L, Refined Stones, so at least we got something, you know, we got some the decent news, so that's why I decided, okay, you know what, let's start, I'm gonna start playing, uh, and yeah, now let's see guys, Awakening, the four amazing levels that we got, <laughs> how much time might take for us, for an average player, and uh, how much power you can get, and also how you to spend those uh, awaken attributes so first thing uh, from let's start with how much um, of this um, upgrading material okay the, the diabolic stones i always forget the name diabolic stones how many you need so as you can see from 15 to 19 you already need 100 so it's more than double that we used to need uh, to need uh, like 45 before and now it's more than double um, <clears throat> also uh, what you get from that you get uh, higher stats like attack defense HP and crit damage for attack you get like 20 how much 25,000 extra defense you get like 70,000 HP it's like 20,000 no yeah, around there, 20,000 and crit damage 1%. Okay, we'll see for max 19 how much uh, those stats will go up. And uh, yeah, let's see first. I'm gonna check the um, previous patch notes just to refresh how many of these uh, diabolic stones we will need. So, one second. Okay, guys, so here you can see how many of these uh, diabolic stones you need so from 16 uh, 15 to 16 100 uh, next level 250 400 and from 18 to 19 700 guys that's insane so um, that means a total of 1450 that's a lot guys a lot of those and we'll see if it's worth it what's the max stat you can get from there and also we have the diabolic stone uh, bonus event two times more that you get from defeating normal bakura and the challenge mode raging bakura this will last till maintenance uh, next maintenance so it's one month for one month we have this double rate for diabolic only sadly only for the diabolic stones okay so um, now let's see guys let's do the math so for example if you don't have 
any of this like I have in here 406 of these diabolic stones how much time will take for somebody to get to the maximum current level 19 so that means 1450 oh no wait uh, we, we ha want to see how many we get per day so I'm gonna calculate for average player okay so let me do one run just to see because I don't want to say a wrong number how many we're getting right now with the double event okay so I'm gonna do this fast because this is normal version I'm not doing the region Bakura by the way I didn't do for maybe two months uh, yeah <laughs> Because, yeah, it's, it's annoying for me, still. Okay, is the sound too loud? Hopefully not. Okay, let's see, it should be four, because you get, normally you get like two, but with the double event should be around four. Four and one second yeah four okay so four that means uh, if you defeat him three times the normal version you get up to 12 12 per day so now we have to divide the total amount of diabolic stones we need 1450 by 12 because that's how many you get per day to see how many days and we get to 100 almost 121 121 days so that's guys that's how much four months if okay in case they keep the rate up but the rate up will be only for the first month okay for the first month so that means let's see how many we get in the first month if you do every day and you don't fail you don't get disconnected so it will be perfect uh, you get 12 multiplied by 30 so that's 360 so let's subtract that from 1450 and we still have 1090 remaining 1090 and these ones how much time do you think will take well uh, without the rate up because the rate up will be gone we'll get how many per day Three, uh, 2 multiplied by 3 that's 6 so we have to divide the 1090 by 6 that we're getting and that's 181 days guys how many months is that? 6 months oh my gosh did I did something? 6 months plus 1 that's 7 months if you don't have any right now and if you don't uh, play the Raging Bakura, I'm talking about normal player and in case you do every day and you don't get any disconnections. That's a lot. That's a lot guys. So definitely they need to reduce, either reduce the amount of materials because you don't get a lot. You're gonna see how much power. It's not like you're getting crazy amounts of power or increase the amounts by three five times i don't know for the the amounts of materials you get from bakura or a mix of both because it's too much time let's see for me since i already have and most of the players should have around 300 400 so in this scenario how many so one one thousand four hundred fifty I have to subtract the 400, 410 okay that I already have and how many uh, did I say we can get in the first first month uh, one second how much was it I forgot ah that's like uh, tw 12 multiplied by 30, 360, no? 360. In the, during the 
rate up event. So I still have, I will still need 680 at the end of the event or more because I might skip some days, who knows. And 680 divided by 6 per day. Oh, wait. Yeah, 113 days. That's how many months? Almost 4 months. So me, I will be able, if everything goes well, in 4 months to get this done. <laughs> oh yeah, amazing. For just a little bit of power. Okay, let's see. How much power? So we start from 351. Okay, you know what? I have an image, so we'll check that out to see the difference maybe. 351. Okay, no, let's let's do this. I'm gonna do it. So I'm getting 490 power. And the increase it's about the same every time. So that's four levels. How much power? like 900 1.8 million maybe okay let's do it one more time and that's it <laughs> the the remaining two levels will take me another four four months yeah you get around 25 the same amount of uh, attack defense and hp and crit damage so you get around 1.8 million, 2 million power. It's not a lot, no? It's quite low compared to how much grind you have to do. And that's insane. And you get, at least you get some attributes, extra attributes. So let's see guys, I have 17. Maximum you'll have like, how many? 19, uh, yeah, 19. Two more. Okay, let's see. So how should I spend these ones? Well, I'm thinking about this. I'm gonna choose Bloodthirsty. And I want to be like a um, healer. A crazy healer. So I'm gonna choose this. Let's see if I have enough. The Fortitude. And this one. Okay, Patience. So this is a very cool build if you're struggling staying alive. This uh, this works because Bloodthirsty sadly doesn't work in PvP. So this build should work only for PvE to get benefits of both of this. Okay, so Bloodthirsty, which recovers five percent of the damage every time you critical hit, and Patience, which uh, whenever your HP reaches 20% or below, you recover 30% of max HP every 30 seconds. So this build is quite interesting. <laughs> yep, uh, maybe this will be quite good again against Raging Bakura. Maybe should I try? You know what? Let's go and try. I'm gonna try it. Then I'm gonna test a different one. I'm gonna go solo and another thing, let's see what pet I have, attack, defense, penetration, okay that's good. Now uh, let's try to get some, the buffs, I'm not gonna get the jacuzzi ones, just the crit rate and crit damage, boom. Let me see, the gear for Lundell, okay let's try, let's see how it goes. Oops, so I said I'm... I'm just gonna test Raging Bakura. I know I will <laughs> get destroyed, but anyways. Yeah, 32 million. 62 million this. Should I? Yeah, we, let's go. Maybe. Maybe we get lucky. Let's see if that extra healing helps. Come on. Come on, Raging. Bakura load. Okay. I hope they will bring new bosses with different mechanics. And they should have first a uh, easier version and then the more challenging version. In my opinion. Okay. Oh, man. I'm kind of noob with this.
come on. Bro. What the bleep was that? Oof. He's so annoying. I think I have some lag. How how did I die? Oh my gosh. Okay, you see I'm a noob. <laughs> I didn't play this for two months, guys, so give me a break. <laughs> Uh, th yeah, the, the only problem was the fact that I do way less damage without the madness and uh, the other build, but maybe if I pay attention, the two healing attributes might be better, who knows. Maybe I need just more practice. Okay, let's check other builds. Let's see if other builds will work better against uh, yeah let's reset this oh reset from here what am I doing so I'm gonna choose this time I'm gonna go bloodthirsty uh, should I go like this how much is this yeah let's go defense crit rate so we go for extra heals from here with the crit rate. Madness. Madness uh, is good for damage, but it's not good for taking damage. So yeah. Uh, that's so I need five more. What should I go? What should I go for, guys? Definitely this one. And this one. So boss hunter extra damage ten percent. And another 5%, that's 15%. Let's try this build. Again, against Raging Bakura. But keep in mind, guys, <laughs> I'm a noob, so don't expect much from me. And I didn't play this for a long, long time. I should be able to do more damage if I don't die. We will see. I have the extra heals from the extra crit crit uh, chance. So maybe I will heal more or maybe not. Maybe I'll die way faster. Even if my damage should be higher. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Come on. Okay, bro. I kind of missed this. Come on, bro. Give me a break. Okay, so I did more damage. Oof. That hurt. I missed the boss by a mile. Yeah, I did more damage, but I messed up. <laughs> I'm such a noob at this. 927 million. So, oh, I did 92% of the damage. Okay. I wasn't that far, but I messed up. Like I said, I didn't practice this for two months or more. So, yeah, this build seems is better than the other one. Because you do more damage. And you get all extra heals because you have the extra crit crit chance, crit rate. So this one, I'm gonna show you in a bit. So I'm, I think I'm gonna keep this one. Maybe I'll try different builds. 
some other video. Okay, this one. Punishment. Uh, attack has 2% chance increasing crit rate by 50% for 10 seconds. 50% it's a lot, guys. <laughs> so with this one you can get close to how much? 80, 90% or higher. Maybe 100%. Who knows? So let me know what's your favorite build and till next time guys. Bye.